Now, where, where are these made again? It was... These are in Melfi, Italy. Italy? Yeah, global, yeah there was an open global manufacturing system there. So we supply all of Europe, North America, and uh, Asia Pacific, non-China out of that plant. And then we also build it. We build this in three plants. We also build it in Pernambuco, Brazil, for the local, local markets there, and China. Nice tow hooks. Yep. Yeah, the, this is the Trailhawk version. So this is the trail rated version of Renegade. So it comes with two front, one rear tow hook. Has um, almost a full inch lift to it. So 8.7 inches of ground clearance. More aggressive front fascias to improve the uh, approach. And then approach angles, departure angles. And then also has the full like well, Let's take it off road. So we're in the 2017? This is a 2016. 2016? The 2017's just launched the plant and we don't have them here yet. Okay. And the Jeep Renegade is known for the off-roading capabilities, right? It's not only uh, that, this is the newest version and the smallest Jeep we have in our lineup and it was really designed to bring in a new youthful ba customer base that may not have previously thought of Jeep. And it's working out really well so far, our demographics, um, it's our strongest vehicle among millennials and by far our lowest average customer age. Wow. So it's really done its job. We're number one in market share in the uh, small compact uh, CUV category right so now. So it's young and hip. Yeah. Let's do Working it. Working well. Let's go off road. Wow, we have a lot of settings down there. Yes. Every Renegade 4x4 comes with a Jeep Select Train. The special part about the Trailhawk is it comes with uh, the 4x4 low, hill descent, and the added mode of rock at the bottom. Cool. So and that just comes standard with the Trailhawk. Everything, when you buy a Trailhawk, it comes with everything you need to go off-roading. There's nothing optional that you have to put on it. No, there is optional equipment, such as the leather seats that we're in. Okay. Um, the 360 degree heated steering wheel. <laughs> you know, it's all part of a premium package that we put on this. So it basically allows you to take that off-road Trailhawk and give it that limited interior feeling if that's what you want, so choose to do it. Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of how this is represented. This doesn't, the only thing this does not have on it is, and the gray one does, is the six and a half inch nav system. This is the base uh, five inch touchscreen. Okay. And what so, size engine is this? This is a 2.4 liter, 180 horsepower. We made it to a nine speed automatic transmission. Okay. And does that have a low range on it, or is it uh, just a really low first gear? It, it it does not have a two speed locker per se, but it does go down to a 20 to one crawl ratio. It allows the vehicle to operate longer in gears one and two, and really helps crawl through all the events that we're gonna go through. So we'll just stop right here, yep. go into neutral, hit the four wheel low button, We'll play with hill descent later, but okay. we don't need to do that right now. And then go into drive. Now, if you want, we could dial it into rock mode, or we can just leave it in auto. Auto works just fine. Okay. So you feel we'll it. Wing it's it. Already, you can already feel it geared down and wanting to keep you down. Yeah. Well, I mean, where you can't you can't really hear the the revs climb, but uh, looking at it, it's barely breaking 1800. It looks like. Mm -hmm. This feels great. I mean, I feel like I'm very. Uh, uh, it could be the way the the A pillar is way out there. Mm -hmm. You know, the space it's providing. Yeah, it's got in the uh, that headroom. This is by far the most headroom in its class. You can really get. Uh, it makes that cabin feel big. This was the first vehicle off this all new platform. This was the small wide four x four platform. So it was seventy percent high strength steel, aluminum, and magnesium, over seventy percent. So. So it's a brand new platform, everything's state of the art, and you know, we brought a ton of cool technology features down in these vehicles, such as forward collision warning, lane departure warning, blind spot. Am I supposed to go through that? Yeah, no, 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 straight. Okay. Yeah, you're going in. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fun stuff. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, just keep your wheels straight when you Does go Does that have these. skid plates? Yes, this has okay. full underbody skid plates. So this is going to be the aggressive moguls. I don't know if you, I thought you've maybe have driven this before. No, this, okay. is, this, this is, is, uh, this is the most intense stuff you're going to do today is through this stuff. Oh, 
Yeah. yeah. Just let it crawl through. If you have to power a little bit, then you power okay. through it. So are we, we're not in crawl mode? It's just no, we are. In. Okay. Okay, let's see what we do here. Go ahead, give it a little gas. Go ahead. <laughs> it's the short wheelbase, I think, yeah. that trips me out. <laughs> yeah. You have one more. This one really shows off your uh, front approach angle. Okay, so this one with skid plates. Oh, sorry. You hit, no, you're just fine. That's what the skid plates are for. <laughs> That's why we do these. Uh, I'm used to driving car, lower cars and just. Yeah, we. Yeah. Uh, this, so, like I said, this is lifted up. We have a front skid plate, underbody skid plate. So you have three skid plate groups on this vehicle, and it comes with the Trailhawk. Like I said, there's nothing actually you have to buy to go off roading. It's turnkey off roading. Yes, absolutely. Okay. It's, um, you know, some of the bells and whistle and technology, you know, the tech features such as blind spot that would be optional in this vehicle. And what does it come in at that kind of price? Um, it's 26450 26, Okay, so for turnkey off-roading, 26450 Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good. Oh, sorry. You're okay, you didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> now, now it's fun to drop into these. <laughs> You'll love this. This is a fun little climb. Oh, God. Yeah, we are going to be the only vehicle in this category to go off on off-road three. <laughs> Nobody else is going to go off on, on this one. Th thanks for breaking my Jeep, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it takes a lot more to break this. No, I'm not going to take that challenge. <laughs> <laughs> so you just want a smooth, steady accelerator going up this hill okay. without going too fast. It's a, it, yeah. Let's see if I'll stick to the left a little bit. Yeah, it's okay. Take the aggressive one, take the nine. It's up to you. There's nothing out here this can't do. The other cool part about the Renegade is all the 4x4 four four miles. We offer, not only does the competition not even recommend towing, we offer an optional trailer tow hitch right from the factory and 2,000 pounds of towing, which is completely segment exclusive, just like the MySky system. Nobody in the segment offers that. We really put the Jeep capability behind this vehicle and try to give it um, unique features, not only from a tech side of all the safety stuff, available safety tech, but capability and performance and that everyday trailer towing and being able to get your hitches right from the factory. Even if you're not pulling a trailer, you can stick your bikes in there, um, you know, whatever. We even make rooftop uh, canoe carriers for this and kayak carriers. <laughs> Wow. Available. And, and uh, it has uh, rack rails available through Mopar as well if you really want to get aggressive with your off-roading. Right. And uh, w did we ever talk about ground clearance on this yet? This has 8.7 inches of ground clearance. Okay. So, 30.5 uh, degree approach angle, which is, um, so this has a unique front fascia from the um, Sport Latitude and Limited, um, so this has that much more aggressive, uh, almost 10 full degrees. Wow, this uh, this looked a lot more treacherous than the yeah. Jeep made it out to be. <laughs> Climbed right through it, didn't you? <laughs> I mean, we didn't even really slip around in that. Yep. So I was expecting uh, hell. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to hear, actually. <laughs> you know, from here, why don't we um, just stop for a sec, yeah. throw it in neutral, and take it out of four-wheel low. Because from here on out, it's, there's nothing okay. that you need low for. Take you, can, you can leave it in lock. Okay. What that does is, this vehicle, oh, really, if there's nobody coming up, has a really unique 4x4 system. First off, first off it has a fully disconnecting power PTU and rear dip. So nothing spinning that doesn't have to be spinning. When you leave it in four-wheel drive, that basically says, okay, don't do that. Just leave it in four-wheel drive, but okay. it's not low. So you actually have an engaged 4x4. The other thing unique about this system is it has the ability to send 100% of the engine's available torque to any one wheel. One wheel? Any one wheel it can send it to. Wow. And that's really how you're able to power through a lot of that without having any issues or slipping because we were sending whatever was needed to any one wheel or distributing as, as okay. necessary. I didn't even know what happens why. is in the auto, snow, sand, mud, rock, auto does its best job of trying to um, 
anticipate the conditions but like snow and mud for instance what happens is we do a little bit of pedal mapping but it, it anticipates with the condition that you're in so snow and mud for instance will forego first gear and launch you in second gear okay so that you don't actually over um, yeah those. yeah you don't slip in your takeoff and it really was great in the snow oh my gosh and then um uh, sand sand is like a sport mode it keeps your rpms up high so that you're really aggressively going through the sand you're not going to bog down slow down and then drop into the sand so it, it helps keep that power going okay so it modulates everything yep, exactly you know i didn't know we put a lot into the four wheel we, we're cheap we're proud of our four wheel four systems we we and you know even all the way down to the renegade that's how we get our trail rated capabilities and you know i was personally with this vehicle program when we were testing during development, we took it out to uh, the Sand Lake uh, or Sil Silver Lake Sand Dunes off Lake Michigan. We took it to Moab, Utah. Went out in Moab. Um, even went out at the beginning to the trailhead of uh, Rubicon. Now we didn't drag this thing all the way across the Rubicon. Um, but is this unique to this vehicle, this four-wheel drive system? Yeah, this is it. It's similar in functionality to the Cherokees. However, it is a unique system from Cherokee. Okay, yeah, because I mean the Grand Cherokee I just drove had the air suspension. That's totally different. Know, yeah, now that's different. I'm yeah. talking Cher Cherokee's similar in the fact that it has disconnecting power transfers. The difference between Cherokee's Trailhawk system and this one is they have a true mechanical engaging two speed power PTU mm -hmm. where this doesn't, this is always into one speed PTU and we use. Um, a lot more pedal mapping and brake lock differentials to um, get the vehicle to overcome obstacles. We just do it in a different fashion. Okay. Both are very capable vehicles. So, in terms, basically, all Jeeps are Jeeps. They all very they all off road very well, but they all don't off road very well with the same all wheel drive system. Yeah. They have exactly. specific systems engineered for that drivetrain for that vehicle and okay. the objectives of that vehicle okay um the targets that we assign to that vehicle what do we want it to do um, this is by far and away the most capable small suv ever and in its class right now um but really though like i said the whole point of this vehicle too is make it city friendly you know small package efficient package be able to but with plenty of headroom in class and elbow room so we have you know best-in-class headroom and, and your shoulder room or excuse me hip room but um no oh, yeah I mean if I but, go to... but you're able to get in and out of tight parking spots and when you want to get away it's all about gearing stuff and getting away with Jeep so that's why we offer the trailer tow pack it's in the factory trailer tow pack systems and the 4 by 4 seal you can this car is great you live in the cities on the weekend you jump out and man you're out in the mountains and you can get anywhere you need to go with all your stuff or or if you have an island home this is definitely what you'd have yeah there you go and yeah and especially if you uh, pop the panels off of the mice guy oh yeah so so right now the panels are just back yeah this one's just up and over it's slid up and over like a traditional sunroof would be um and then there's a little key that you, when it's shut you take the little safety key turn it lift down the latch turn the handle and they pop right out wow the front and then they store in that nice little bag so they don't um, they're not bouncing around you're not hearing them <clears throat> clutter that's awesome because um this is really just a really cool fun that I can see why it's a big a big hit with with the youngsters uh, yeah that's been <laughs> great I think I was telling you about um, we're number one in market share right now you're, you're to date in the segment you know and that includes like uh, HRV tracks on core you know all those yeah uh, vehicles that fit in that uh, small CUV. But this whole small B size, if you will, you know, use a, a trade term, a B segment, SUV, CUV, the growing. We anticipate a lot more nameplates coming into this segment uh, over the next, say, three to four years. Okay. So um, we expect, in fact, we're thinking, our intelligence tells us we're probably going to see 15 nameplates in this category. That'd be awesome. Next four years, so we're just going to stay on our game and make sure we're the most capable one. I mean, are you going to make one where you can take the doors off, or is that still just going to be the Wrangler? Uh, we don't have any 
plans to. No, no, do it's no, the architecture doesn't support exactly. that. Exactly. Okay. That's definitely a Wrangler Q right now. Okay. We do love our Wranglers. Oh yeah, but I mean, to me, I'm having more fun in this than a Wrangler. <laughs> I don't well, know why. It's, it's, it's very capable. Um, you know, this was, like I said, this was made to appeal to a new youthful customer that never would have considered Jeep. That's why we, that was the purpose of this vehicle, that's why we built this vehicle, and it's done that. It says the lowest demographics, uh, you know, youngest age, I should say, and more millennials than anything in our lineup. It's, it's really done its job, and been a, been, been a hit where we had exactly targeted. Yeah. You're kind of giving them what they want, but yeah. you're giving them this really awesome off-roading system. Mm -hmm. You know, and it, I don't really see... Without uh, sacrificing that everyday drivability. Um, like yeah. We have um, the other items that we put into this um, vehicle to help just everyday driving uh, dynamics is every every vehicle has Coney frequency dampening strut system. So everyone is Coney FTS. And then, um, which it almost anticipates the bumps when you're going down a road to kind of smooth out those everyday bumps you're driving on the road. Mm -hmm. And uh, every 4x4 system is trailer. Every 4x4 vehicle has trailer sway control, whether you get trailer tow or not. And okay. that just helps everyday driving dynamics. And that, that's like a traction control system for trailers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or for towing. Yeah. Yeah, helps. yeah, I don't really have a young uh, demographic on uh, my YouTube channels. Uh, I have a new car spin and diesel review. Okay. Um, Colin suggested getting into this because I was asked about the, uh, the off-roading capabilities and stuff, and he said no. That's this has fun. actually been very popular. It's the demographics I do get in is very bimodal, so it's very young, and then you get another pop as you get the empty nesters coming. So um, because it is, it's fuel efficient, can we can get around and see the country, and it, it really works well for multiple lifestyles. Yeah. I like the panels. I mean, everything about it is just very, uh, it's island life kind of thing. You know, there's no worries, man. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> now you can hose this thing out. <laughs> I don't think I would try that. I've no. never, uh, I forgot to put the drain, have the engineers put drain plugs in. <laughs> yeah. I think one of your versions should be a real mud-tastic. <laughs> Let's call it mud-tastic brass monkey or something. I do have a, uh, I do have a buzz model coming out in, uh, short months it's going to be the desert hawk and it's based off the trail hawk here but then the really unique thing about it is i'm going to have it'll have standard factory rock rails nice so it'll be really be a little bit step up in capability and then in, since, ever since we've launched the trail hawk we've only had it in this black with the ruby red accents that's a signature to the trail hawk um, we're changing that up for just that buzz model, so it's going to have a unique Moroccan sun bezels and a little unique interior. Hello, guys. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Well, hopefully I gave you some usable footage. Oh, you did? Yeah, thank you. Uh, great, great. <laughs> that was a great drive. It was I fun to drive. Doing, I love doing this. So. This, this is the my fun eyes. part of my job. It is. Now, well, that's how I'll end it. <laughs> that is funny. Most people never see that. The little spider.